Hey guys, so I finally decided to address a question that has been asked a ton of times and I've been saying for a while, I'm going to answer it, I'm going to answer it, I'm going to record a video and you know what, here we go. <laughs> I um, have been asked multiple times, how did you get started in the business, what did your first year consist of, what did you do? So let's rewind a little bit let me give you a little bit of background on me um my parents are cuban uh they were born in cuba um i they came to this country they were very young then they met and voila here i am <laughs> and um uh i went to school here and then went to fiu i majored in political science i minored in psychology I had every dream, goal, and everything in between to go to law school. I finally, at the, I think at, at that moment, I was already working for attorneys and all of a sudden I decided that that's not what filled my heart anymore. So I um, started looking for something else and wasn't quite sure what that something else was. So I lasted about eight years as a paralegal and finally towards the end of those eight years i decided to start you know sign up and start going to gold coast to get my real estate license um i while being at gold coast started letting people know what i was doing friends family everyone that i spoke to i started letting them know hey you know i'm thinking of becoming a real estate agent i'm doing the class at gold coast and kind of prepping everyone and planting that seed so that they knew, you know, if they heard of anyone that wanted to buy a house or sell a house and give a newbie rookie an opportunity, um, that they would call me. So crazy enough, that's exactly how it happened. I graduated or passed the state exam and um, a friend of mine tells me that her brother is looking for a home. To this day, I'm forever grateful for that first opportunity. It was amazing and thankfully it was like the least complicated deal I've ever done in my years of doing real estate till now. So um, I did do the, the first deal and I had my first closed deal within the first 30 to 45 days of getting my license. Now, disclaimer, that doesn't happen for everyone and that's okay. Yeah, um, I got lucky. I started talking to people and you know they waited for me to get my license um, so I, I'm forever grateful to them and then after I got my first deal um, well a little bit before that I, I had told myself well in order for me to quit my job I need about fifty thousand dollars in my bank account I was so used to having a nine to five and making a stable check every two weeks that the thought of commission or relying on commission completely freaked me out. So, um, I, I told myself $50,000 and then when I closed my first deal, my first commission check and I'll share it with everyone. My first commission, commission check was $10,000 at that point in my life. I, I, my bills were very low. Um, I, I didn't have a lot of spending or bills or anything. So I told myself, if I budget myself correctly, I can quit my job and go into this full time. And you know, that's exactly what I did. You know, at least I knew that I had the backing of the fact that I had so much experience in the legal field that God forbid anything happened, I can go ahead and find myself another job as a paralegal. Fine. You know, that's exactly what I did. I walked into work. I said, hey, here are my two weeks. Now I am faced with no paycheck every two weeks and having to grind it out as most of us do. And so I started calling everyone, everyone in my phone. You know, when people tell you that you're, you have a ton of deals in your phone, they're not lying to you. Um, you right now are probably sitting on a bunch of deals on your phone and you don't even know this. Um, between your contacts and your social media platforms, there's a bunch of people in there that you haven't talked to. 
So this is exactly what I did. I called, I started, you know, using social media to work for me. Posting about what I did, posting about how I helped my clients, uh, posting about different situations that I had been in. And social media has been one of the biggest generators of business for me. And it's free business, guys. It's free marketing. Um, so because I was relying so much on social media, now the perception people had of me had to change too. So you have to become a little strategic as well as to what you post. So it's a little bit more professional, a little bit more of a grown up person. Because a lot of people who follow you or were friends with you when you were younger or you know your friends parents who may still see you as that person who is still a young girl or a young guy um, so I had to make sure I was uh, handling myself in a very professional manner even on social media platforms or spe especially on social media platforms along with calling everyone um, posting on social media, reaching out to people on social media if I didn't have their phone number, there needed to be a mindset change. Uh, I think that was my biggest struggle. Um, I was now granted all this freedom and all this extra time and I could run an errand midday. I could go have lunch with whomever midday because I'm my own boss, right? Um, and slowly but surely, I started realizing that you get what you put in. And I wasn't putting in everything that I wanted to get back. So that mindset of employee needed to shift to self-employed. Um, because now I can't just prop my feet on top of my desk and hope everything goes well because let's be real guys we know that that's not gonna happen so that is probably the part that took me the longest to realize um, because I felt it was so many years of working for someone and now I didn't have a boss and I didn't have someone telling me what to do there was no procedures I needed to follow um, so so I think that you know if you're someone that now finally feels free um it, it'll be a problem too uh, but hopefully this video helps that so another thing that i did as well is i started going to as many seminars as i can go to i um i did i went to tom ferry summit i went to tom ferry sales edge i've watched i mean i'm subs subscribed to tom ferry's blog um i did a lot of showing up to educational seminar seminars not just networking events where people go to drink and talk um that was that not only was educational but was motivational i walked out of there super motivated to work super pumped with crazy ideas so that um that was awesome my first year as well and i still i still do a lot of those the things i didn't do because not only are the things that you do important but the things that you don't do are important as well i did not fall into the oh i'm a real estate agent i need to drive a fancy car but i'm only closing two deals a year so i did <laughs> it sounds bad i'm sorry but i did not fall into that i had goals right so i wanted to pay off all my credit card debt. I wanted to have my credit score at a certain level, I guess, if you want to call it. Um, I wanted to have a certain credit score so that the day that I do get the fancy car that I want, I don't have to put any down payment because my credit is so good. Um, there were so many goals that I had set for myself that I was not going to fall into the stereotype or stigma of um oh you're a real estate agent you have to drive a fancy car no i didn't get my fancy car until the third year in this business because when i got my fancy car i had no credit card debt 
I had zero credit card debt. Not only did I get my fancy car that year, I bought a house the month after I got my fancy car. So honestly, I think that if you set yourself with goals that are priority, um, you will make it in this business. You have to have a goal. You have to know what you want as a result. And everything else falls in line in between because you're reminded every day of why you're doing this. Um, I make sure that I have crazy goals nowadays because I've seen that when I set those goals, I've met them every time. So I hope that this video has helped everyone who's just getting started in this business. And if you have any questions about anything, I absolutely love helping new agents find their way. Um, I have a, a few agents that I'm mentoring right now. I have agents that are on my team. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I promise you, I will answer every question. Um, thank you for coming into my YouTube video, I uh, to you, my YouTube channel, sorry. Um, subscribe, like, comment. I would love to hear your feedback. Bye guys.